Is it possible in the Western world to go on Mesiris Nefesh? First of all, Mesiris Nefesh is not something a person aspires for. You know, in Maimori Hasidus, they almost hold it against Rabbi Kiva that he said, And we talk about Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu's business was to be Mefarsa Melakus, to teach the world about Hashem. And if he needed Mesiris Nefesh, Mesiris Nefesh was also available to him. But his focus was on living. We believe in life. A person is supposed to live. And a person is supposed to live even if in living he's giving up the idea of Mesiris Nefesh. That's the way the Abish created the world. Or to use a, a classic form, it's the Nadavan Aviyu syndrome. We don't support the Nadavan Aviyu idea um, of sacrifice, of Mesiris Nefesh. So nobody wishes for Mesiris Nefesh. Rabakiva did, but Rabakiva was Rabakiva. We wish to live. Mesiris Nefesh is a challenge which the Ebishter brings upon us, and every single morning we say to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Al Tevyeini Lideini Sayan, do not test me. We don't want tests. So the short answer to your question is no. Mesiris Nefesh is not something we advocate. Mesiris Nefesh is not something we seek. Mesiris Nefesh is something which the brings on us. It's his business. And the language of Chassidus is called an Isayan, an impossible challenge. But with the Maimed that we're learning, Vizkadishtem, the Maimed of Pashas Emer, says that just like there is an idea of Kedusha, Mesiris Nefesh associated with this Pasuk, saying Kedusha is also Mesiris Nefesh. Taira and Avaida and Tfil and Himilas Chasadim, or Taira and Mitzvis and Tshuva, are also Mesiris Nefesh. Which means to say that there's a different concept of Mesiris Nefesh. And the different concept of Mesiris Nefesh is not I'm sacrificing my life. But that I'm dedicating myself to Hashem so wholly that in every little thing that I do, there's sacrifice. And this concept of Mesiris Nefesh is certainly possible. And in a way, it's much deeper than Mesiris Nefesh. Like it says in the Maimed of Ve'ata Tetzave, to give away your life is easier than to live a life of Mesiris Nefesh, right? In Russia, they had Mesiris Nefesh. In the West, there's a requirement for Mesiris Nefesh. The requirement of Mesiris Nefesh in the West is not about sacrifice. It's about total dedication. Sacrifice means throwing away. It's about immersing yourself in something completely. So in this case, there is a concept of Mesiris Nefesh, but the Mesiris Nefesh is not in an extreme. The Mesiris Nefesh is in the intensity of the investment in the person uh, in what they're doing. And of course, we grew up in yeshiva, our mashpiyam always used to say that the word nefesh is from the word ratzen. They bring a rai from Tanakh, a nafshi al omazem. That mesiris nefesh means mesiris ratzen. When one gives one's will away to Hashem, that's the concept of mesiris nefesh. The problem is that when you learn the memory chasidis, that juxtapose mesiris nefesh in martyrdom to mesiris nefesh, in living daily as a Jew, they will always use the expression of Mesiris Nefesh B'Koyach versus Mesiris Nefesh B'Poyel. They will always say that the Mesiris Nefesh of giving away your life is greater, and the Mesiris Nefesh of giving away your will is, is less. But we also learned, like for example, the Maimir of Purim from Tavshin Yud Aleph, which we learned recently, relatively speaking, that when a person has complete bittel, even if the Mesiris Nefesh is not Chas V'Sholom, it should never happen in an act of martyrdom, but in daily living, it can have a similar kind of an intensity. The, the, the point is, Mesiras, there are Yidin whose lives were lived in a level of Mesiras Nefesh, which means that every single mitzvah, every single word of Torah, every single word of Tefillah, was done with 100% emes, and total dedication, and complete disregard for self, and for other desires, and so on. And this is a Mesiras Nefesh in one's daily life. In Tanya, chapter 41, the Alter Rebbe talks about this. And how does he define Mesiris Nefesh in Pedic Memalev? He quotes the Zoyar, Kibro, the Shtadl, Basravu, Vime, the Yater, Migarmei, Venafshe, Viruchi, Venishmasi, Umoser, Alei, and Lemisa. The Zoyar says, like a son who loves his father and his mother more than he loves himself. Um, his body and his nefesh and his ruach and his neshama, he gives himself away for, for Misa on their behalf. So the Alter Rebbe explains what this is mentioned in Tanya Perek Yud Bekitzer and Barich is Perek Malf. What does this mean? When a Jew lives his religious life 
Not for him, but for Hashem. I'm not learning Teda and do mitzvahs to come closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'm learning Teda and do mitzvahs to bring Hashem into this world. I'm sacrificing my interest for the Abish's interest. That's a concept of Mesidus Nefesh. And then the Alter Rebbe goes on to say that we all say this every day, but we're not all holding by it. Not everybody is ready to put the Abish that ahead of them in their relationship with the Abish. In other words, my worship of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not about what's good for me spiritually, but what Hashem wants from me. So the Alter Rebbe says, even a Jew who is not in a position to do Teda Mitzvahs for Hashem's sake rather than for his own sake, but one thing is always true. A Jew is prepared to give away his life not to become separated from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And this is true in everybody's Yiddishkeit. And therefore, there is some level of Mesir Nefesh in the Yiddishkeit of every single Jew.